After so many years, we finally have The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I hope you guys are all enjoying this amazing game. But what if I told you that there's one thing that you can do in this game to make your experience 10 times more enjoyable? I mean, you've read the video's title. We're making pizza today. So making a pizza is really simple in Tears of the Kingdom. All you need is just some Hylian tomatoes, some Hateno cheese, and some Tabatha wheat. So just grab all those three ingredients and toss them to a pot, and then boom! Got yourselves the Hylian tomato pizza. So now I'm going to show you how you can get all three of these ingredients, and it's really quite simple. First up is Tabatha wheat, which can only be found in the Tabatha region, to no one's surprise. This area is located beneath the snowy Heber Mountains in the upper left corner of the map. So what you want to do is find a nice patch of grass, we're going to use this area set on the Kalami Bridge, and become a lawnmower. Eventually, after cutting enough grass, you'll be able to find the wheat pretty easily. Hateno Cheese is next, and this is going to involve completing a side quest before you can get access to it. Begin by heading off to Hateno Village, which is in the southeastern part of the map beneath Mount Laneru, as you can see here. And go to Lake Sumac, which is located near the farm in the eastern part of the village. You'll find an NPC here named Koyan, and talking to her will initiate the Letter to Koyan side quest. It's a really simple side quest, there's a bottle in the lake that you gotta fish out with Ultra Hand that contains her grandpa's cheese recipe. Just show this to her and she'll open the cheese shop from which you can go buy some. You will buy the whole stock because cheese is good! Hylian tomatoes are the final ingredient and you can find a bunch on the roads to Kakariko Village. One place where you can also easily find some is behind this tree in the Dueling Peak stable. Once you have everything, just go ahead and toss them onto a pot, and it's pizza time! You can also add more ingredients to give different kinds of effects, like spicy peppers for cold resistance. Although, sadly, if you're a fan of mushroom pizza, you can't make that in this game. I hope this guy helps you a lot, have fun with Tears of the Kingdom, and like and subscribe for more Tears of the Kingdom content. See you guys next time.